Continuing to fill questions for you, Samili, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group, one week to go before my exam. Uh, I don't know if she's studying for step one or step two. I'll address both in this clip. How to schedule prep during this last week, okay? What should you do in your final week? And I can give you a very fucking excellent answer here. So before we started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel down below in the clip. So look, I've harped on repeatedly in my prior YouTube clips that prior to your step one, you're gonna be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30. And for your TCK, all the clinical master series forms, as well as NBMEs six through 12 and free 120 for both step one and step two. This student's in the final week, okay? And we talk about, well, I literally have no time. What do I do? You should be doing nothing but the NBME exams at this point, okay? If you haven't finished all the NBME exams, as I just mentioned a moment ago, then you shouldn't even be sitting the USMLE, okay? It's audacious to be sitting, not having gone through all the NBME content. So regardless of whether you're going to shift your exam or not, regardless of how low or high your scores are, when we talk about you're a week out, you're five days out, like what are you actually going to be doing during that final week? You're sitting in your room studying, what should you be looking at? I want you hardcore memorizing slash whipping through all the NBME material. Okay, that's what I want you doing. I want you memorizing those questions. So in addition to the NBME exams, for step one, I want you knowing high yield arrows. So let's say you've spent eight hours, 10 hours, and you've gone through NBME questions today, you're a week out. Now I want you going through high yield arrows. You need to know that PDF prior to your step one, especially if your scores are borderline pass. It's highly specific. It rules in you passing if you know high yield arrows. Anytime I have a student who doesn't pass the step one, somebody comes to me, they say I failed the step one twice, or I failed my school comp slash CBSE. Like, what do I do? And I ask them questions from high arrows. They know jack fucking shit, okay? So I want you knowing high arrows in addition to the NBMEs. And then just other strategic stuff. I often have people, their second to last day, not the day before their exam, uh, two days prior to their exam. I have that usually be a biostats day, okay? So you're just reinforcing all the formulae. I have a biostats PDF. We just make that a full biostats day. That's tactical, okay? It just makes sure that you're going to be as fresh as possible on uh, all of the math-related stuff, okay? It, it can be easy for, for some students to uh, leak that knowledge. They forget the formulae. So two days before, I see that as an ideal uh, way to prepare. The day before your exam should be pretty chill, okay? If you've studied well for the exam, the day before your exam should not be a 14, 15 hour study day into the night. It should be a pretty relaxed day. I've made plenty of clips here on the YouTube talking about the day before your exam, all right? So just in short recapitulation, the final week and you say, what should I be looking at? I want you doing nothing but the NBME exams as well as my high yield arrows PDF, which I'll link down below. You're gonna have a biostats day a couple days before, day before your exam. Should actually be pretty chill. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.